So what's going on y'all it's Cavell Anderson and we're back with another one man and this one we'll be checking out this VV verse chat with Dan and the new CEO I'm interested in checking it out because I haven't actually looked at much of their content in a while so um I'm always giving you know give, giving the benefit of the doubt keeping an open mind y'all know how I feel about the team y'all know how I feel about everything going on but I'm still going to listen with a you know open open mind you know let's just let's see what's going on Let's see how, how you know, if it's just the same old soon, soon, soon. And yeah, like, let, let's get into it. Welcome to another VV Digital Collectibles video. I'm Corey, and I am joined with the amazing Ben Rose, co-CEO of VV, and Dan Crothers, COO and co-founder. And the point of today's video is we have an upcoming live premiere of the VVverse experience, which is going to be on October 31st. You should see that already on our YouTube channel. And we wanted to set some sort of open transparency and communication prior to that. So, Ben, what are we going to be talking about today? Yeah, so, look, I'm really conscious, um, having, having a chat with, with Dan yourself about this, we're really conscious that there's, there's a lot of discussion and expectation around what the VVverse is and isn't. And so we just thought it would be a good idea to have that conversation, um, kind of talk a little bit about where, where we're at, kind of what brought us to this point, just so that the community... Um, going into Friday are really clear about what they're going to see and kind of what it what it means to them. Absolutely. And so that okay, coming up with a show to manage expectations early. I mean, this is this is some good work that, that no, I'm serious. I'm not trolling right now. Managing expectations before it happens. I like it. Strong move. That's that's really what today is. Everyone watching. This is just a casual chat where we sort of chat about the VV verse. And so you kind of hit what our first talking point is going to be, Ben, and that is what is and what isn't the VVverse. So Dan, over to you. Tell us, what's the VVverse going to be? Yes, well, obviously, uh, you know, me personally, I have very grand visions for the future. But, you know, as, um, as uh, Corey has mentioned in the beginning, we really want to help set some expectations as we roll it out and what, uh, you know, you guys can expect for the VVverse. So... Really, number one, it is a place for fans to collect and interact and participate. So we've already kind of covered that in our previous videos. Um, and really, at the very first iteration of the VVverse, it is going to be similar to the virtual showrooms you have already, but with far greater functionality in terms of creator tools, uh, social tools, interaction tools, and just overly a, a much richer experience. Fantastic. And... Ben, sort of, how does that tie into our goals as a company in terms of creating innovations in the digital collecting space? What is a unique thing about the VVverse and digital collecting that maybe you couldn't experience in the physical space that the VVverse will provide? So, so one of the great things about about VV is the community and the the way that it brings people together across borders, um, you know, online and offline. So, the VV still do that? <clears throat> I'm genuinely asking. I know. I know it sounded crazy because y'all know how I feel. Uh, yeah, but I'm genuinely asking, does VV still do that or is this form of glory talking? Like, I'm just curious. With what we're wanting to do with the VVverse is really bring that to life. So where you are, you know, you share a fandom with another collector, you will be able to share that with them inside the VVverse. You'll be able to really share share your passion. At the moment, you know, with the with the showrooms, you can share it and you can share it on the feed and you can share images of it and you can show people yourself in there but you really can't invite them over and kind of hang out and talk and share and that, and that kind of thing. So so, so we essentially it's just going to be able to walk through one another's showrooms. <clears throat> Is that the whole grand vision for the first iteration? Um, just to be able to walk through one another's showrooms? Is that is that basically what's happening? And hasn't this been a plan for the first iteration for years now? I mean, we just are finally actually getting to the release of the first iteration, hopefully. Is going to actually release this time, but yeah. This is I think really it's about bringing that, that community together. Absolutely. And so that's sort of what is the VVverse. So what are some expectations that possibly we want to set for what it might not be? That people might, you know, go into the showcase that's going to be Good. coming out on October 31st, again on our YouTube channel, live premiere. I'm sorry. Uh, what are some things that it's not going to be? Um, so yeah, great question, Corey. Um, I think the, you know, one of the main th expectations that I want to set is that the VBverse is not going to be a AAA game. You know, it's not going to be the next Call of Duty. It's not going to be the next major blockbuster out there. 
But the reason being is that the BBVerse has to be accessible across a whole range of different devices. You know, most of our users are on mobile. Uh, many of our users are on desktop. Some people may. Oh, it's just for the devices. That's why. That's why it's not going to be AAA. Just to make sure it's available on as many devices as possible. Has nothing to do with the fact that it takes forever to make a search bar. So y'all probably can't, aren't capable of delivering anything better than just a glorified showroom. Like, like everyone was saying, as soon as this this massive Batman scaling walls and all of that was announced, a lot of a lot of the haters were saying early on that's never going to happen. But yeah. Those of us who believed surely look like morons, eh? He or may not have a gaming machine. So we got to find that balance of getting some really nice looking graphics and functionality, but making sure it's accessible to, to everyone else. So it's best to think of the, uh, at least the initial launch of the BBverse as a whole range of microverses. I may have a whole bunch of microverses or my spaces and, and you guys might have the same. So Dan, there's a little elephant sitting in the room with me here asking a question. Why has the VVverse taken so long? So we teased it um, a few years ago. We're here today um, talking about it coming out coming out uh, shortly. Why has it taken us so long? Um, great question, Ben. Uh, and I think it's really important for the, for fans to understand that, you know, VV is such an intense business. There's so many ups and downs. We work with a lot of licensors and there's a lot of uh, requests and demands on our side and, and opportunities that we that we sometimes just need to jump on like VV Comics for example and as a result this means that you know we have to deprioritize some things prioritize others and, and it can be a bit of a an up and down so so the licensor said they wanted something VV's dropped everything to give the licensor what they wanted and it's true the fans you all will keep waiting um I get it okay I mean that was pretty much what everyone already knew the, the issue is, why does it take this long to just come out and say that? Like, like why not just communicate at the point in time, oh, something else came up. We believe you all are going to be very excited about it, but we have had to push the VVverse back. You know how much fighting and bickering amongst the community that stops right there? Like, it bothers me that they're so bad at managing a community. It really does. But... The new community manager has, has come and now they're talking about stuff. So, hey, maybe this is what was needed. Maybe they actually are horrible at it. And this is why they had to hire this position, which I would think this would be common sense. But apparently it's not common sense to say, hey, you know what? Big opportunity. We got to delay the V-verse, but you all are going to love it. Just just bear with us. It's going to be worth it. That's not hard. It's not hard. I think one thing I want to make clear is that the BBverse has not been in de solid development for, you know, the past sort of two or three years. Um, we've had to stop it and start it and come back to it. But I'm, I'm really happy that we are here right now, being able to actually show you guys something. And look, I think it's safe to say, you know, on reflection as an organization, we probably could have communicated that better throughout that period. And so, so you know, we've we've taken quite a few learnings from from this this uh, this period of, of, of VV. And say, so, look, we're, we're committing to the uh, community. We're going to be, you know, more open, more transparent, communicating updates on what's happening. And of course, we can't share every single, you know, thing that happens. But, you know, the big things are like this, you know, we're, we're here to uh, be open with you, share with you. And look, take it on the chin as a learning for us as an organization as, as we grow and mature. Fantastic. And I think... I love to hear that. <clears throat> Hopefully they keep this, you know, keep this this tone. Hopefully they, they keep this and they're consistent with this throughout things because no one in the community has asked for the entire layout and the whole plan of everything that's going to happen we just asked to know if oh this thing you've been promising us for the last three years has been delayed like th th that's all like do you know like oh it's been off and on development every time we ask about the vverse for the last three years we get a soon we're working on it now you just say we haven't been working on it it's been on and off I mean, this could have been avoided years ago. It don't take three years to learn how to say, you know what, something has been delayed. It don't take three years to say that. It, it just don't. So it's hard to give a pass for... I'm a chill. I think everyone watching this uh, will be really appreciative of that sentiment. But a thing that you mentioned there at the start, Dan, was that this isn't a AAA game. But after doing the view for a showcase with you, I can attest to how amazing it looks, and I think everyone that watches that on October 31st is going to be really amazed. 
Can you tell me a little bit about the platform in which the Vverse is built upon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, building out something like a metaverse is, is, is a complex development pathway. Uh, and so, you know, both David and I uh, started speaking uh, a number of years ago with many different platforms uh, that were out there that we could use as a basis for the Vverse. We wanted something that was rich in functionality, rich in features, supported the main uh, objectives we wanted, which is number one, co-presence. Like I know in this day and age, having lots of people in a room is, uh, is pretty straightforward, but when we kicked this off, like that was still quite new technology. So, um, the, uh, we ended up partnering with a company by the name of Cavernous. Um, we've worked and known with the Cavernous team for many, many years. Um, and, and we now have a, uh, our own sort of customized, um, version of the, the Cavernous software which has been developed and, and deployed as the VVverse. Okay, so look, with all that being said, Dan, um, I recently had my day one in the VVverse. Um, so, so tell me, what can users expect to do on day one of the VVverse when it launches? So day one when it launches, uh, number one, we're gonna have all of the social tools available. So uh, it's gonna be collaborative. You could be in there, voice, text, chat, video, co-creation. And then in addition to that, you can choose whether you wanna stay in a simple mode, which is where you just place your collectibles and make them look beautiful inside an environment. Or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can create your own world from scratch using all of the creator tools that we offer. Right, that's awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. So, so you can create an entire world from scratch. That's going to be interesting. I like that. Um, but is it going to be anything fun? Like, is it just going to be, oh, you, we, you can market the collectibles to try to boost these sales M many other different places? Or is it, uh, oh, this is going to come with some type of mini game or functionality or something that's actually going to keep retention high with the new Black Ops 6 out. GTA 6 is going to be coming out next year. I mean, there's a lot of competition and a lot of things is going to be taking, you know, market share away from just an app with a bunch of steel statues that no one actually cares about except for the people who's invested tons of money into this platform already. So what's going to keep the retention up when it comes down to the Vverse? Is is it the first iteration just what should have been delivered three years ago? Or is there going to be more that can be expected? Look, I think um, also important worth saying is um, this is not, you know, the launch is not the end for Vverse, right? So we're just looking at this as day one Oh, well, this is the beginning, three years delayed. Yeah, we get it. What we want to do is we want to get feedback from the community once it's launched as to what they love, what they don't love, what they'd like to see. And then we'll we'll be iterating on top of that. And it's exactly the same way that we've approached um, the VV platform itself, right? We, when we launched it, um, it didn't have all of the features and functionality that it has today. Um, and, you know, in, in a year, in two years, in three years, it will have a huge amount more functionality. So exactly the same as the Vverse, we're starting the journey. They're gonna have an extra search bar in three years. It's, it's gonna be great. Um, we really want your feedback as we go into it and, and ongoing. As to and I'm just saying, yeah, like, listen, I, I really am watching with an open mind, but y'all gonna get trolled until you're consistently doing something. At this point, I've been, I've been lied to for the last three years. So, I mean, you can't expect me to take you serious without actually delivering. So let's see that happen. What you'd like to see us add to the Vverse from there. Absolutely, Ben. And that feedback loop, it kind of starts right now with this video, the video that's going to release on October 31st. And there's a lot of ways you can be reaching out to us. You can see our socials at the bottom of the screen here. As we move into the next stage and people get to see that October 31st live premiere, whenever they look at Dan's showroom, they're going to see a whole bunch of amazing collectibles staged in an amazing way because we all know how Dan is. You know, you're very particular how things are arranged and we love you for it. Uh, for those day one users and as the doors open, are all IPs, you know, on the table for our users? Absolutely. I mean, you know, very similar to the experience we have now, um, we want to make sure that that transitions into into the VVverse as well. You know, for us, really, the VVverse is the next chapter. Um, and, you know, what's the point in buying toys if you can't take them home? And I think it's a, a point worth making to the community as well is, you know, it's, it's, I mean, that's big. <clears throat> that's big saying that all the licenses are going to be in there, everything on VV. If, if it's everything, if it's really everything, then that, that's huge because to get sign offs on all these brands to be in a showroom together is actually a big deal. So, I mean, not mad at that news. That, that's, that's some bullish news. It's easy to assume for VV, by the way. Like, let's not talk about the fact that this does not have any implications for Omi at all. You know, there's no, no information there, but 
Yeah, well, listen. See that the, some of the things we do are just pretty straightforward, right? But it's it's no mean feat to take all of those, you know, over 200 licenses and IPs and say, okay, now we're going to have them in a, in a, in a, in a VVverse. Now we're going to have them in the metaverse. And so we're really, really proud that every single IP will be available there. Um, but please. So it is every single IP. Yeah, I, I like that. like that. That is definitely big news. Definitely big news. That took some work. But licensing is what you all are good at. Let's see the experience. You know, un understand that it took a bit of work to get there. Um, so, you know, we're really excited about that. And, and again, it may feel like a small thing, but, you know, a lot of work goes into these things for us to deliver that to you. And you're absolutely right, Ben. I mean, the amount of work that our team and external con, like it's just a huge collaborative process that's sort of culminating in this amazing feature. And that sort of brings us to the end of this episode. We talked about a lot of things. We talked about what the VVverse is, what it isn't, day one expectations, what IPs will be involved. And so I think this is a great staging point for us to launch that October 31st live premiere. And again, as Ben mentioned, feedback. That's why we are making these videos. Please be communicative, be respectful, but be communicative in the comments across all of our socials, which you You all want feedback? I'll give my feedback very clearly. This video is a great step if you're gonna be consistent and continue to be transparent with the things going on. No one has asked for a lot. This is very simple and basic things and it should not have taken three years for any of this stuff to come out or any of this stuff to be discussed. It did not require a whole new role to tell people, to tell the team the common sense that if you just tell people that things are delayed, tell people that things are gonna take time and not lead people on in this weird disingenuous way people wouldn't have these false expectations. This could have been controlled years ago and it never had to get to where it is right now. So hopefully now with, with, with a new whole new role created specifically for this, um, we can get this consistently because right? this is all anyone is asking for. But aside from this, um, hopefully we can hear some things about the OMI token as well. Because yeah, like is the future still bright for that also? Or is it not looking so bright for that? So if we're gonna get transparency, hopefully we can get some transparency about everything. But this is a great start, if if it if it keeps up this time. You see at the bottom of the screen, gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for taking the time to make this video. And until the next one, best of luck out there and happy collecting. All right, y'all, there we have it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Not bad, not bad. I got I gotta be honest with you, it's not bad. Um, from what I see now, like I said, I've been getting the carrot dangled in front of me for years now. So just see, just seeing that they, they basically, every criticism that I've had for the most part, the transparency, all this stuff, they've actually displayed that in this video and given us an update. They've been honest about things they were dishonest about in the past. This is a good step in the right direction. Now, please, let's not go back down the same direction that's been going down. This is actually a step up, and I like to see it. So let me know what y'all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.